you're in the mood for the ultimate sandwich, well, you've come to the right place. This is a Tunisian casse-croûte. And in French, casse-croûte just means snack. And my friend Pedro was telling me every time he goes back to Tunisia, he says the first thing he wants when he gets off the plane is this. There's little stands everywhere that sell them. So harissa, between one teaspoon to a tablespoon, along with some homemade mayonnaise or just a good quality store-bought mayonnaise, a few generous spoonfuls of that into the bowl, and the addition of some lemon zest, and I'll grate that directly into the mayonnaise. This in itself is just such a flavour bomb to any sandwich, but it goes so nicely with the tuna, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'll now give that a mix and I love how the harissa stains that pale mayonnaise and turns it into that lovely bright orange colour. It's absolutely perfect. Right, now we did say this is all about big and bold flavours, so the next thing I'll add is some olives. These are just Kalamata olives. I've taken the pip out of them. You could use some green Sicilian olives too if you like and I'll just roughly chop them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is a snack, so it's all about getting it done quite quickly. So in with the olives and for another punch of saltiness. These are just baby capers that I've rinsed from the brine. And now for the texture and the salad component of this sandwich. Cucumber. This is just a telegraph cucumber. I'll finely slice it. Got a small handful of this. Depends how many sandwiches you're going to make. And then we'll turn the cucumber around and then finely dice it. Fabulous. Into the mayonnaise with some tomato. I'll give myself a head start and chop some tomato quite fine. A large spoonful of that in there. And some capsicum. This is roasted capsicum. I'm using it from a jar. It's completely fine to do. Just makes it much faster and we'll finely chop it. I'm just using a half a capsicum cheek. Scoop all that up and then into the bowl. Now for the tuna. I like to use a tuna in spring water. Use a good quality tuna. I don't like to use it in the oil because we've got the mayonnaise already. So you just want something a little lighter. And we'll just break up that tuna straight into our mayonnaise bowl. And now we're going to fold everything together. This in itself is so yummy, but of course it's going to taste even better on some crusty baguette. And you can see that there's a lot of sauce there, but that's what I'm looking for. I want this to be saucy. Speaking of baguette, let's start dressing it. So I'm just going to cut it on an angle. I'm going to get rid of that bit because I want, for presentation wise, to show it on a diagonal. And then I'm going to turn it over because it's much more balanced that way and just cut down the seam, not going all the way through and just gently tease it open. Wonderful. Now I'm going to add some more mayonnaise because I love mayonnaise. You don't have to do this. Then I'll fill it with this delicious mixture. You can see I'm being quite generous with it. So it's almost overflowing. Great. Now I'll just grab something to place our sandwich in. And we'll just nest the sandwich into this basket. And then the final touch is eggs, hard boiled eggs. Pedro says it's a must, so the eggs will go on. Just slicing them so we're exposing the egg yolk and the set whites and then for presentation we'll just carefully pop them on top. I'm going to add three pieces. That is Pedro's Tunisian tuna casse You can see why that's one of his favourite things to eat.